Good morning, Sunday the 15th of March and it's dropped cold again um, unbelievable how cold this is uh, but we'll just have you get a quick look in the polytunnel oh, I'm zoomed in sorry, let's zoom out quick look in the polytunnel at the cabbages um, as I said, they're now well, they are they're coming on great them bit of weeding to do and yeah they're fine uh, like it says we're getting to the back end now so that one's going to be picked and whatever these are I'm, I'm still convinced it's kale Definitely convinced it's kale. The one about cauliflower and oh, whatever it's supposed to be. But then we've got an head growing that. And there you saw a bit more uh, looking at for the what I bought and I'll put a link on the video to let you know what they are so I'll just give these another water but we'll have a look outside oh let's have a look well that's how cold it's been long it's been down to minus 1.5 it's now only 13 degrees maximum of 30 I'll swap that over so 29.3 it's now 55.6 and a maximum of 87.6 swap that back we'll reset and we'll go and have a look what's happening down on the other end of the allotment okay back down to the onions have a look there uh, we're okay with the onions they're all coming on now as you saw in the last one we weeded garlic that's coming on fine that's the raw garlic now we'll just have a look at the trees let's have a look so cherry tree not a lot happening to it um, it's only been in a week apple tree and again then the uh, kiwi and you've just seen the temperatures in the the greenhouse so the the green growth has gone I think we had some a bit of early frost um, Nothing happening yet with the raspberries and the uh, what were they? Goji berries? No, not even growing. Right, back up home. Let me show you what's been happening with the lettuce and the compost. Straight to later. So there you go, one. Winter lettuce. See if I'm getting any further down, that's a lovely lettuce that. Well, here we are up at home again and the saga with the compost has been resolved. Um, I've had a lettuce from them. Well, <coughs> it was originally where I sent them an email, they then sent me an email back telling me that they was going to send me a, an envelope, a prepaid envelope with a little bag inside for me to send them an unsieved sample from the compost bag um, so they could then run it through their lab and see if there was anything wrong with it. So, 
on Saturday I got a, a letter back from them um, and I'll I'll just spin you around and show you what that were about. So here we go. That's um, I just taped it up to the uh, cupboard, and without it being, um, I think it might be too much in. But it's uh, thank you for your letter and sample. We are sorry to hear the problems you have had with lumps in your J. Arthur Bowers seed and cutting compost. I do understand how disappointed this is. We have had a problem with a hole in one of our screens on the production line. This screen would normally have sieved out the lumps from the compost. Instead, the hole allowed some of the lumps to pass through the screen into the compost mixers. In October, we shut the factory for a week to allow for necessary machine maintenance. One of the jobs was to replace this faulty screen. I am sorry that the bags of which you have bought included some lumps. However, I can reassure you that any compost made since this date should be improved. And that is, should be improved. <laughs> any lumps you have taken out can be used in the bottom of pots or hanging baskets to improve the drainage and aeration. Please accept our apologies for this and as a gesture of goodwill I enclose £12 vouchers for you to spend on any future purchases of our products of your choice. Thank you again for bringing this problem to our attention and I am sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused. Yours sincerely, Jamie Jones, Horticultural Advisor. Been about around. So there you go, um, they've resolved it, uh, faulty screen of course, uh, and £12 in vouchers. Uh, the two bags uh, were about £6 I think, there were two for the price of, I don't know, one and a half, something like that. So I'll just um, spin you around, show you the vouchers and show you how the lettuce is getting on in that. As uh, Dan would say, shite. Let's have a look. So, there you go, there are my vouchers. Um, you get a, a 10, a 1, and a 1 with compliments from the Sinclair Group. Let's see if I can get you in and focus. William Sinclair, Articultural Limited. And we'll just come back out and have a look at the lettuce. I hope you can see them. So they're all growing. They've, <laughs> they've grown perfect in fact. Um, I've now just got to thin them out and uh, pot them on. So there you go. Saga ended. Spectator. <laughs>